Okay, I'm going to explain how a vehicle map sensor sends its signal to the ECU. So I've got here the map sensor um, with the vacuum line, vacuum and pressure line attached, and I've also rigged up a 5 volt power supply, which is the correct voltage for the map sensor. And I've also here got a multimeter and also a pressure pump, or pressure or vacuum hand pump, and that's attached to the map sensor. Now at the moment, no pressure is being applied, no pressure or vacuum is being applied to the map sensor. And if I measure the voltage, uh, we're getting just over two volts from the map sensor. Um, now if I apply some pressure, as if it's like boost, let's say, let's set it to about 10 psi. Okay, so that's now 10 psi of pressure being applied to the map sensor. And let's measure the voltage again. Uh, let's have a look, a bit of a dodgy connection there. Now we're getting three point, about 3.6 volts, and that's 10 psi. So you can see how the voltage goes up as the boost pressure goes up, and that's how the ECU is reading the boost or the vacuum. Um, if I was to take the pressure away from the map sensor, and let's just put this down. Now I've applied a vacuum to the map sensor, and we should get an even lower voltage than we got at the beginning. There we are. So you can see exactly how the ECU knows the vacuum or the pressure from the engine depending on the output voltage of the map sensor. And in my next clip I'll show you a, uh, I'll show you a fuel cut defender hooked up to the map sensor which is going to clamp the voltage.